families. I've got Zach here behind the podium trying to crawl in underneath. <laughs> well, first, let me say a huge and sincere thank you to Chief Justice Shirley Abramson, who has been years. As she said, she likes lawyers. My grandfather, Nathan Weezy, was a lawyer, a DA, and a judge in Wapaka County, serving on the second branch of the circuit uh, court up in Wapaka County. So he, she has known my grandfather and my grandmother, who uh, you were pet pals with uh, my grandmother Joyce, and so uh, I grew up having the utmost respect for Chief Justice Shirley Abramson, as she was a family friend and knew generations of my family. So thank you. It was so nice to have you here in 2000, and it is a great honor to have you back here in 2011. So thank you very much. And to have my good friend, Senator Mark Miller. It is an honor to have you here, and I look forward to being your colleague in the State Senate. And you traveled many, many miles this past summer, and I thank you for your time here in western Wisconsin the leadership that you have exhibited and demonstrated here in Wisconsin during very tumultuous times. And uh, I look forward to serving in the State Senate and look forward to calling you my colleague. And to Senator Mark Meyer, my good, good, dear friend. Um, it started many, many years ago as I served, I worked for you in the State Assembly. We were friends uh, before that. I worked on his campaign. Uh, worked with him, worked for him in the 95th Assembly District, and then he moved on to the Senate, and at that time was an opportunity to run for the Assembly in 2000. And during that day in 2000, over in January at UWL Cleary Center, Mark and I were both sworn into our new uh, offices by the Chief Justice, and you are, have been a very, very good and dear friend and confidant and mentor, and I thank you so much for being here. And uh, I look to your example as you were an outstanding state senator here uh, representing the good people of Western Wisconsin. So thank you for being here today, Mark. And finally, <laughs> and to my family, to my family that is here, um, thank you so much for your loving commitment and support. Uh, Chris's family, I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a wedding. Chris's family's on this side of the aisle. <laughs> My family's on this side of the aisle. Last night I felt a little bit like a nervous bride, like I was leaving one family to join another. Uh, but I can assure you I'm not going to be a runaway bride. Um, so uh, I thank my family for their love and support for the endeavors that I've taken on, the sacrifices that they make as well, uh, because I put my name on the ballot. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that they put their name on the ballot, but it also is an indirect way that they uh, are, are out there with me at different events and the sacrifices that Chris makes and the boys make and I can say after a long day on the campaign trail it was always so welcoming to come home to the shrieks of a five-year-old and a two-year-old who were <laughs> hugging me around the legs and wanted to play in bedtime stories and so I thank you very much for loving me Chris and for the strong support that you give me and the boys so thank you very much. and I look forward to getting to know you and working with you to create a greater, stronger Wisconsin. From the Cooley region to the Kickapoo Valley and all along the Mississippi Valley, I am eager to be your state senator. People ask why this location. I think the background speaks for itself, but I think the Cooley region is so tied to its identity with the strength of the bluffs, and the movement of the rivers. And if it's a tributary into the Mississippi River, here on the banks of the Black River, uh, that, that uh, water is so important here in western Wisconsin that we identify with it. And as I have heard, good friends of mine have had the example of like time can change things. But the bluffs are sturdy, they're rock solid, they uh, really are not forgiving, they don't change much over time. However, the waters here in western Wisconsin Mississippi River, it is forgiving. It ebbs and flows. It goes up and down. And when there are challenges in its way, it finds a new path around it. And I see myself, I see this community as one that rises above those challenges. We find new pathways 
And we will have ups and downs as we move forward in our legislative debate. We will have ups and downs that at times I feel like we may be swimming upstream and there will be other times that we will be taken away with the current beyond our, our control. But I think here on the banks of the Black River and on the Mississippi River, we find our strength, we find what moves us, and uh, we find that identifying factor in the way that we address the challenges and the opportunities here in western Wisconsin and in Wisconsin. It has been a tremendous honor and privilege to represent the 95th Assembly District. And I cherish the many memories that I have in serving the residents of La Crosse. It was about 7 o'clock last night when I was at Quick Trip getting gas, and I looked at my watch, and it dawned on me that I had resigned two hours ago, and that I was no longer the uh, state assembly person from the 95th. And I came home a little melancholy to Chris, that it just was sort of unfamiliar to say that I was no longer uh, the proud state representative of the 95th Assembly District. And having first been elected in the state assembly in 2000, and having been re-elected five times and now elected to the state senate, my experience in Madison has always been a positive one. And I still look forward to each time I enter our beautiful state capitol. And as I explained to our five-year-old son, Nate, that I still work in the capitol and I still get to represent the good people of western Wisconsin, I'm just moving to a different room in the capitol to do my work. But I am keenly aware of the greater responsibility of the office and the diversity of the district and the broader legislative stage that I now have set foot onto. While the scenery may be a little different and new, many of the plot lines or issues remain the same. That we must invest in a Wisconsin that encourages innovation, collaboration, and cooperation among the many partners in education, healthcare, industry, agriculture, and our environmental interests. With my experience in the Assembly and my time on the Joint Finance Committee, I believe that that experience has prepared me well for the new challenges that lie ahead. I know that I now stand in the long shadows of the public servants who have served our region so well in the State Senate with distinction and honor. I also want to thank Senator Dan Kopanke for his years of service to the residents of the 32nd. On election night, he wished me well and said that serving the residents of the 32nd District is one of the highest honors. And I, too, have that privilege now to know the honor of such former senators as Brian Rood, Mark Meyer, and Dan Kopanke. I wish him well in his future endeavors, and I know he will continue to serve this community in an important and valuable way. As we have done together for the past 10 years in the Assembly, we will continue to foster an environment that encourages job growth and retention in Wisconsin and invests in our excellent school systems from 4K to our university system to our technical school system. We must invest and help families and seniors to have access to health care in our state. We will continue to champion for those working families, seniors, children, disabled in this state while looking to provide incentives and serving as a partner for the entrepreneurs and small 